Raisa Maestrenko did not walk this road to Babi Yar for many decades. But after the monument for the murdered children was erected, the dance instructor has come here repeatedly with her pupils. My words are always, this monument could have been for me, but I survived. In the early autumn of 1941, Nazi Germany's army, the Wehrmacht, captured Kiev. Soon after, bombs exploded in the center of the city, killing German soldiers. Special units have been ordered to fight the fires and secure the strategic roads. The SS and German and Ukrainian police ordered all the city's Jews to assemble on September 29th and to bring only the essentials with them. A kilometer-long line of people was marched off, including three-year-old Raisa and her family. I saw the grown-ups' legs. I called them white grandpas. They only had underwear on, long johns and undershirts stained with blood. All around were the Germans and their local helpers. The people on the sidelines were screaming, they're taking these people to be shot. Don't protest or they'll shoot us too. There is no film documentation of the mass executions, but a German soldier took a few photos showing the waiting Jews and the clothing of the victims. It was decades after the atrocity before the Soviet Union raised a monument to the victims in Babi Yar. And it's monumental indeed. Raisa too took a long time before she chose to face the past. My grandmother never talked about it. She was silent for fear of traumatizing me. She didn't say what happened here. And that's why I didn't start dealing with it until 50 years later. She started thinking about the massacre long after she had a family and headed a dance school. And she visited the memorial site. Then Raisa wrote choreography to Babi Yar. It helped her overcome her trauma. But each performance is still a tightrope walk. It's an ambivalent feeling. On the one hand, as a professional, I make sure my pupils do everything right. But if they do everything right, then I'm overcome with emotion. Today, Babi Yar Ravine is overgrown with vegetation. The place where almost 34,000 people were shot dead in just two days is hardly recognizable. Raisa escaped the murders because her Ukrainian grandmother pulled her out of the line of the doomed. We just ran away to the cemetery over there. My grandma ran until she could run no more. Then she fell to the ground. We huddled between the gravestones all night. Raisa survived by hiding in cellars until the Nazis were defeated. Many years ago, she encountered a German tour guide in another memorial site in Poland. I looked at him and I could see that he had taken the whole burden of the German nation's guilt upon himself. You understand? And that's when I reconciled with Germany. Before that, of course, I was embittered. Today, Raisa's husband is buried in the cemetery where she escaped the murderers. And one day, the place where she was rescued will be her final resting place.